All right, today we got a chest, shoulders, and back routine, mostly chest and back, warmed up with an uh, empty barbell, 45 pounds, and I did some light rotator cuff stretching and things like that. Went for a uh, attempted one at max with the 85 pound dumbbells, uh, flat bench. Here they are. Taking a little while to get going, but I I almost had it. I got about halfway, but it just, it just wasn't going. Today was uh, today was not my day for that. But moving on, went back to the 80s, got two reps with that. Remember to keep your shoulder blades retracted and really squeeze the chest as hard as you can by coming in slightly with the dumbbells. And uh, remember to keep your feet in an advantageous position so that you can press as much weight as possible. Then after that, moved on to pull-ups. I did three sets of 11 reps. And for this, I tried to use my back as much as possible, not my biceps. So grip the bar, not with your fingers, but all the way around with your hands and try to retract your scapula and really squeeze your shoulder blades together. All right, now incline dumbbell press. I used uh, the 65s for three sets of uh, eight reps. Um, for this, keep your shoulder blades retracted the whole time and it really helps focus on the upper chest if that's a weakness of yours. That's why um, I perform it second or first in my routine because that's a really big weakness for most people who lift weights. So, couple more reps here and I'm just trying to use my chest as much as possible all right next we had shrugs I used a weight of uh, 155 three sets of 15 for this lean forward slightly and you know shrug the bar it's not that hard it really adds a lot of thickness to your upper back and I really like the movement overall <laughs> all right now we got the hammer press hammer strength machine you what I do personally is not sit my back flat against the pad, but have an arch on my back as you can see, and have my um, have my legs and my butt about halfway on the seat. This helps emphasize the lower chest, and this machine is really good because it kind of has an angle to it to where you can focus on pushing inward and really using your chest. I did three sets of five, four, and then I dropped the weight and got ten. Now for this unilateral you know rows, I use a pretty heavy weight. 115 pounds each arm. I did three sets of 12. For this, I put my hand, as you can't really see it, but I'll lower on the handle to help emphasize the lower lats and really help get the width in my back. After that, did some fixed lat pull downs. I really love this machine. It really helps for anyone with lower back injuries. It completely takes the lower back out of the movement at all times. This is great because you're not, it's not like a pull up where you have to have a lot of strength in order to do it and feel in your back. This you can easily feel in your back, really squeeze your shoulder blades together at the bottom, get a good stretch at the top. And really that's about it. I did three sets of 12 reps. Then I went on to pec deck. I put my hands not on the handles, but around um, the edges, as you can see, so that I can cross over at the end. I used a pretty lightweight, 145 pounds. Three sets of 12, 11, and 10. I try to get 12 every time, but I just, I just couldn't do it. I was really tired from doing all the previous work, and I was up kind of late last night. But no excuses, we got the work done. Really trying to focus on my chest and really squeeze really hard, especially at the end. Now, moved on to the shoulders for working on the workout. Did fixed shoulder press machine, where I did three sets of eight. Six. This is the sixth. This is the second set, and then I dropped the weight and did uh, 12 reps with the 80 pounds. But this is 110 pounds. Now, um, for more shoulders, I usually do front delts and rear delts on when I do presses. So this is uh, barbell front raises. Four sets of 20 reps. And remember, when doing this, to keep your traps traps relaxed and flex your glutes so that you're in a position where you aren't rocking back and forth. As you can see, um, eventually, I think at about rep 15, I stop for a second and I um, reset in order to prevent momentum from happening and really try to use my shoulders to really bring that weight up. This really helps build like a padding on your shoulder for using front squats and things like that. And then I did two sets of wrist curls. Um, you can't really see it, but you really want to squeeze your forearms as hard as possible on this movement. I like to do really high reps. I did two sets of 20 reps. And it's just a great forearm movement. There's tons, but this is one of my favorite. And so if you're looking to get big, thick forearms, 
This is the exercise for you. Next, we got. Let's see what do we have? Oh yeah, neck curls. So for neck curls, be very careful. Do as many warm up sets as you feel comfortable with doing. For this, I did three sets of 55 pounds on my head. Neck curls for 15 reps. Now this does look dangerous, but it's really not. It's, it really helps with not only with almost every exercise that you do that's a compound. Having neck strength not only prevents injury, but having a big, thick neck really adds a powerful look to your physique. So like I said, three sets of 15 reps, 55 pounds on my head. Looks kind of dangerous, but it's just really not. It's, not. it's no big deal. And it may look like I'm doing a crunch, but I'm not. It's just the folds of my sweater are um, creasing up.